Hi, this is Care Hart with a quick video of some things that a hardest, I'm sorry, two hardests made. And um, both of the hardests are just absolute sweethearts. And I want to share with you guys what they look like. And so, not the hardests, but the things that they made. And so, uh, these are their ATC cards. And on the back of these ATC cards, instead of saying their name, it says, I can spread my wings and fly as the title. Then it says, name, a hardest from South Dakota, date, January of 2020. Thank you, Defy. Isn't that sweet? And so on the back of each one of these, it'll be something special. These are the things that we give away when um, someone sponsors shipping in one of the auctions. And so if someone sponsors shipping, then we will give a handmade ATC card. I like the way these feel. A handmade ATC card by one of the hardests. And so... Um, and then let's say three people sponsored shipping one month, then I would send a copy of, um, three of, of the three that I'm mailing out. I'll send you a copy of those like, like this, this got a little curled because it was sitting there, but these are four hardests. Um, and I don't keep track of who made what I just keep the whole stack of them over time because, I'm going to eventually make a book of all the ATCs that have been given as thank yous for sponsoring shipping. And so, love that. Just absolutely love that. And so, let's go back through these. I got distracted. Just so sweet. And there's like a little puppy here, a little heart up top. And this one's many layers with the music and the flower, little ditch of lace. Why did I call it a ditch? I don't know. Little puppy, the flower spins. Look at that. You know I want to spin it. This one's very jazzy feeling. Oh, I got my eye on you with this one. That one's fun. Very thick. What'd she name this one? I appreciate you. Oh my gosh, I gotta read the titles of these. I love your titles. Uh, thank you. It, it's rough buying art supplies. Oh, I love that. Counting flowers on the wall that don't bother me at all. Oh. When life gets rough, you help. Oh, and she spelled it R-U-F-F. -F. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, I saw the wings and fly. Okay, here we go. I'll cut up. Your donation was music to our ears. I love this. Trust the process. Oh, and it says trusting up there. Someday my droid will come. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, you're, I'm having fun with these. Sorry, that was from another shipment. I'll show you that shipment here in a second. And this one says life. Isn't that sweet? I love the texture on this one. You want to touch the little sections. It's like a little stamp here, some flowers. I gotta show you this one up close. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty? But first, coffee. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Coffee before art. Uh never. <laughs> this one says. Never enough fibers and lace in life. Oh, The Maryland she put earrings on. Art is a girl's best friend. She crossed off diamonds. Ah, love that. Then this one says Paris. Oh, Paris rain. Oh, that's cute. She's got the umbrellas. Whoa, 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 that's the wrong one. Kiss my grits. <laughs> oh, Holland grist mill. Kiss my grist. That's what it says, not grits. And then the fibers here. Junk to treasure. This is um, hand painted. Bouquet. Fibers remove my... Oh, anxiety. You know, I'm a textile person, too. I love to touch certain things. I've got a ticket to ride. <laughs> Your donation helps us reach for the stars. Oh. Quaint. Wasn't that quaint? Take note, your donation fulfills dreams. That's the truth.
F's for crafting family. Oh. Paper flowers. Oops, detached. <laughs> Thank you from the heart. Oh. I say aw a lot, I'm sorry. You've got this coffee. Okay, art is coffee's bestie. That's cute. Your support colors my world. That's a peacock. The Elefante. I refuse to work for peanuts. <laughs> today. Obviously, she was feeling that today. Now I'm singing a song. Okay, think spring. Well, as cold as it is in some places, some people need to be thinking spring. Bits of lace. Thanks a bunch. I like the texture of this one. I love fibers in my work. Wait until you get the February package. Woo, everybody's going to be excited about that. I can feather my nest with art. Art fund. <laughs> it's a little mason jar. <laughs> Difficulty does not arise from art. That's true. Ooh, this one's delicate. Winter coffee. Look. You see that? Finally, something gets the sparkle. Shh. It's no secret how awesome you are. You get an A-plus for your quotes. This one says, your donation moved me. This one, sorry, I probably flipped it over too fast. Railroad crossing without any cars. Can you spell that without any R's? <laughs> your donation feathers the nests. Oh. Floral dreams. I'm trying to get this one upright. Brain is not processing. Is that a bird? I really should have my glasses on. I say that a lot, don't I? Tranquility. Like the way you did the fibers behind the flower on this one. Recycled bits. I love ATC cards for bits. Art is for sharing. One of the hardest recently um, asked what an ATC card is. And an ATC card is two and a half inches, just in case you're the one watching. It's two and a half inches by three and a half inches, about the same size as a playing card. An ATC stands for Artist Trading Cards. And um, essentially, originally uh, were made so two artists could make something and then they'd swap cards and they'd have trading cards from artists or just like if you had... Um, a baseball player and you had baseball trading cards that kind of thing and so artists do this as well make new friends but keep the old ones one is silver the other is gold it's no secret what art can do that's true butterfly wishes isn't it like uh, butterfly wishes and fairy tale dreams? Is that how it goes? How, how does that go? No string is attached. <laughs> no strings attached. And there's a cute string. <laughs> That's cute. Boho spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. Above the stormy sea. See, that helped me know which way to turn it. Keep calm and steampunk. Oh my gosh, I do. I love steampunk. The gears and clocks. I mean, I think I was kind of describing this the other day in a group where steampunk to me is... Um, well, I'm not just steampunk. Obviously, if you see my art, it's I'm more... Uh, 
where you take a little bit of the shine out of steampunk and you grunge it down a little bit and you bring it to the 20s and um, you know a flapper and dolly and I don't know I, I can't describe it today some days I'm poetic today is not one of those days flowers never go out of fashion and that's true all right so I have a weird fact about me write in comments down below a weird fact about you here's one I do not cannot stand to receive as a gift cut roses long story behind it but it instantly puts me in a crazy mood what kind of weird fact for you guys um, exists like that is there something like that where you're like nobody would believe this or nobody would know this what do you have like that this one is a ledger I have a whole bunch of weird facts so each time I bring one up I'll have a different one for you all right your support adds up oh that is true oh, that's a beautiful bee look at puppy B is for best friend Water dream. Oh, winter dreams. I'm sorry. That's because it's one of those, oh, the shiny showing up. There's a butterfly on this one. It says rain check. And a little puppy on this one. And it says mutt versus <laughs> AKC. <laughs> uh, I just read a post about that. And then these thank you cards were made by a different artist, and I just want to show these to you up close and how sweet they are. She did put a little note on the back of each one, but I'm going to leave that secret for now for whoever gets these thanks. And um, this one has little flowers. They do look to be... Oh, no, it's a stamp. Gosh, they do. They look hand-drawn, don't they? And it says thanks with a little ribbon below that. Isn't that beautiful? And she put the embellishment in the middle of each flower. And then you have this thank you with the butterflies and the ribbon. They're all blank so I can write something on the inside. Now, if, if you've ever received a thank you card from me, um, then you'll notice I often don't put anything in the middle of the... Uh, I don't often... I psh, Words are not coming to me. I rarely actually write on the card because I don't know if you want to save it or if you want to use it. Um, I'll usually write on a note I put inside the card. Um, just not sure how you want to do that. And so these thank yous she made like this. This one says, with gratitude, and it has a little seahorse. And her sequins look like little bubbles. And then this one... I have to confess, I added the little star, and the reason I added the little star is because I don't have the little tiny sequins, um, and one of them disappeared. And I had a feeling, because there was a little sticky right there, so I had a feeling that there was a sequin right there, so I just put a little star. So I apologize to the hardest that I modified it, and this has a little nest with little houses. And again, her little stuff on the back. Oh, it's different on the back of this one. And so, so with that, thank you very much. Uh, for this to the two hardest and a different package that was mailed um, I put into a little box. What did I do with the little box? Here it is And I've got to show you this so I have been Frustrated and so I made a post in the cares angels group um, the group if you want to join it is linked down below Because I have these and I make rag flag paper clips, right? And so I'll take these, and if you've never seen one, let me make one really quick for you. Okay, hold on. I've got my leftover paper clips right here. So I'll do it on a big one because my dexterity is not always good. So here's your paper clip, and here's a piece of ribbon. Now, it doesn't have to be this long. I'm just doing it because it's easier to see. And so you fold your ribbon in half, and I usually put it around my finger and then pinch the end. Now, there's two ends to your paper clip. The side that has two pieces, 
and then the side that's all by itself. Do you see that? So if you put your finger in the middle, you can see this side has two pieces. Easier than a finger. You see this side has two ends, and this side is all by itself. Well, where you want to put your flag uh, after bending it is through the side that's all by itself, the bigger hole. Okay? So when you put it all through the bigger hole, so I just put it over my finger and then I pinch the end because I wanted to fold it in half and put it through the bigger hole. You put it, pull it through. My dexterity doesn't always work and I like to use these to close things. So here's your big hole and you keep it pinched on the other side and you put it through. Right? So I'll do that for you again. So right now it's just through the hole like you see there. And it's the hole that has only one thing on one side. Then you're going to see me take this side and put it through into that hole. So I'm just going to put it into that hole. I like to pinch it in the fingers there, but again, my dexterity is not like many of you. So it's just going through the hole and then I just pull it through. Now when I do that, sometimes I'll get all careful and make sure it's level and square. Like this at the top. And then you've made yourself your first red flag. Um, this one's a little bit long. Normally I'd have about half the length um, when it comes through. And um, even though for a while there I was making a whole bunch of them, it's just my hands don't work like they're supposed to all the time. It just happens. Um, or my brain can't think through it and I get fumbled up like you just saw. And so I'll be making them. Here, let me do it one more time with the right size. So I'm going to cut this in half. So you've cut this bit. Let me sh tell you how long it is. If I stretch it, it's six inches. Okay, and then I have one of the larger paper clips, which is two inches. And so then I take it in half, three inches on either side, and I'm going to put it through the hole. And when I do, I want to get the side of the ribbon. I'm going to put my finger through the hole there. You can see my dexterity is just not too bad today. So you've got one that has a hole and one with two open ends. Well now I just want to take it, the two open ends and pull it through. And now it's all dangled. Looks like this. And now you have a cute paper clip that when I bunch things together it just looks good when you've layered things. Right, so let's say I was giving a thank you with a ATC card. It just, to me, I like a little bit dangling off. It also works well in journals and however it is you want to make them. And so, yeah, that's what it is. Well, I have to say thank you to the fabulous um, Dini and T who made these. And so let me show you because one day on Cares Angels, I was just so frustrated um, because my dexterity was way off on that day and they and I put a request out I said does anybody like making these things well they responded and they did they made a bunch and I'm not even going to cut them but what I am going to do is I'm going to attach them to this so you can see that they used oh this look like fabrics that are um, torn because I love when things are tattered and then I can just attach them here. And they've got greens and purples and blues on this fabric. Nice big long ones and super appreciated. And so I suppose I shouldn't do it with all these. I'll just put them back into the box. But you can see how it immediately looks adorable when they're like this. And so a big thank you to you. And um, I appreciate that a lot because it saves me time. In addition, this is another thing that I'm collecting over time, and I'm still working on the collection of these folks. Um, these are, oh my gosh, this one's so cute, look at that. These are also paper clips, and these are the fancy pants paper clips. 
So what I want to do is I want to give Hardists um, paper clips for them to do um, one, uh, a project where they can store them, and two, um, and I'm just going to do it this way because it's just taking me a while to do it. So she has, and these are from um, Deanie and T. A hashtag, a music note. Oh my gosh, it's an adorable key. Look at that one. Okay, this one looks like an ornament. So this would go on something thicker, I think. Maybe like this, let me see. Oh, there we go. This one came out like that. Dangle something there for it too. And then this one is a little ducky. And a light bulb. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this dress. This dress is magnificent. And an ice cream cone. I already showed you the bee. She has a, uh-oh. Oh, I found it. A fox, another light bulb, and if I've already shown you the ducky, I'm sorry, I'm showing you again. And now I'm singing that rubber ducky, you're so fine. All right, well, super appreciative to the two hardists, to Teen Dini and to T. So thank you very much, all, and um, please join me in saying thank you. And then I'm gonna read a card. Whatever I can imagine, the universe can deliver. If you have the ability to imagine it, or even to think about it, this universe has the ability and the resources to deliver it fully unto you. For it is like a well-stocked kitchen with every ingredient imaginable at your disposal. Talk about positive energy. That is a good one. The title of where these came from, um, these came from Sharon, and it says, Ask and it's given cards. They're just super sweet. And watch, I probably got the person's name wrong and I'll feel really, really bad. I should have it on the outside of the box so I never mess that up. And so, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, joining me today. And I'm taking forever to say goodbye. Why is that? I think it's because I miss you guys. Love you. Bye.